Hi guys, my name is Charlie and today I'm going to be going over some basic compression tips using the smash and grab compressor from Get Good Drums. So broadly speaking, compression can be either used to increase or decrease the dynamic range of a signal, and it's one of the most important things to understand when it comes to mixing. There are four main controls to understand when compressing, attack, release, threshold, and ratio. And you might notice that three of those four parameters are not actually present on the smash and grab compressor. This makes it fantastic for beginners, or for just if you want to get great results in one or two clicks, because you basically use these drum type presets and you don't really need to worry about attack, release, and ratio. I will mention though that in the V2 version of the plugin there is a toggle switch that lets you enable advanced mode. For this video though I'm going to keep it simple and use the vanilla version of Smash and Grab. In the advanced mode though you have complete control over attack, release and ratio. So when compressing with Smash and Grab the first thing that you do is you select which drum you are compressing. So we're going to start with the kick so we set this dial here to kick. When using the basic version of the plugin this will automatically select a release time, an attack time and a ratio that will sound good for this drum. Again you can adjust these parameters if you're using the pro mode in the 2.0 version of the plugin but for this video I'm not going to be doing that. Once you've selected your drum type you want to be selecting what kind of compression you want to be using. Using, so either smash or grab. Smash is an 1176 style fast attack transient squash style of compression which I find is best for either rooms overheads or being mixed in in parallel. Grab is a slower VCA style of compression which sounds fantastic for drum shells. So then all you have to do is dial in the threshold until you get a nice amount of compression that sounds good to you. So you can hear when I go way too far here, especially for the kick, it starts to sound very pokey and aggressive, which you might want on a snare, but on a kick usually that's way too much. So here, this is quite a good example of the difference between the smash and grab styles of compression. So I've dialed it up pretty high on grab because I think that sounds fantastic on snares. But then if I toggle it over to smash, the transient nearly disappears. This is because the smash uh, mode of compression smashes the transient, whereas the grab mode grabs the transient is the idea, which is a way of saying essentially that smash is fast attack, grab is slow attack. So there are some neat things that you can do, which I'll show you uh, using the smash mode of compression on drum, cell drum shells, but for now I'm just going to leave it on grab because it sounds better on its own. So one thing that can be very useful when compressing uh, rooms and overheads is basically clamping down on the snare. Uh, so in this case you don't want to be using the grab mode because that will let too much of the transient through. So I'm going to hit play and you'll see what I mean. Listen to the snare. And as soon as I change it over to smash mode, it engages the faster attack and it basically squashes the hell out of the snare, which is exactly the kind of thing that I want for this kind of drum sound with this kind of music. So there we go. All we've done so far is just added a bit of compression to each of these tracks. I'm going to hit play and then I'm going to engage all the compressors at once. You'll see the difference it makes. So it really is that simple to get a good sounding compression sound with this plugin. So another trick that can help beef out the sound of your drum shells in particular is compressing in parallel. So here's two different ways to achieve this effect. So the first way, we're just going to use the snare top for now. I'm going to loop this bit here. We're going to use the more aggressive compression sound here, the smash setting, and then I'm going to dial back the mix until it sounds about right. So what that's doing is it's blending the uh, raw, completely uncompressed snare signal with the smashed signal. So that's one way to do it, which isn't the way that I usually go about doing it. The way that I prefer to approach parallel compression is by using a parallel compression bus. So just go up here to new track, stereo, 
auxiliary track, create, and this is our parallel compression bus. So we're going to set the input to bus one and two, and then anything that we want to go to that bus, we need to add a send to bus one and two. So smash and grab does have its own parallel setting. Usually I prefer to just use the snare one because I think it sounds so good, but I'm going to, we're going to try both and we'll see which one sounds best. For this though, I am just going to solo the shells. So yeah, the toms there are too loud. Uh, possibly the snare is too loud as well. But what we're going to do is turn down the send on the toms by 6 dB. Okay, now I'm going to mute the parallel compression bus and then I will unmute it and we can hear the difference. So hopefully you can hear there, it hasn't just made the snare louder, which is why I then turned it down, but it has also beefed it out with another layer of compression. And you also may have noticed the final couple of useful bits that the Gecko drums have added to this compressor. They got a two band EQ module and a saturation module. Probably worth me mentioning here as well that the EQ module uh, where beef is on the frequency spectrum and where air is on the spe frequency spectrum is dictated by this drum type dial here. So beef here on the kick and beef on the snare is not targeting the same frequencies. So there by no means this is a completely finished drum sound, but with the help of this plugin, I've been able to whack this out in just over five minutes. Uh, and I don't think I could do that with any other plugin. So one last time, I'm just gonna bypass everything, including the parallel bus, and then we're gonna bring it all back in and you can hear how it sounds. So that was a quick look at compression using Get Good Drum Smash and Grab Compressor Plugin. You can check out a 14 day free trial on their website and see how quick and simple it is to dial in some great sounding compression. If you're a beginner or if you just want an extremely intuitive compressor that sounds great, then I would highly recommend this plugin. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful and informative. Please let us know what you think in the comments and be sure to check out the Brickwall Sounds website, Facebook and Instagram pages. And we will see you soon.